keeping the field playable last night. The longest rain delay was at the beginning of the game. Over an hour, and that pitch is hit to deep center field. And Lofton goes back to the track, to the wall, makes the leap, and that ball will fly away. So Mike Cameron deposits one over the center field fence. And Big John Rouch is being rocked, and he's asking for Mike Johnson, his catcher, to come out and meet with it. So, uh, Dave Mix tried to come inside on Cameron and got it in right in the middle of the plate. Boy, there's a huge difference on that plate, and you make a mistake by as much as six or seven inches. Great leap by Lofton, almost caught it. But Mike Cameron unloading on his former team. And Cameron hits a fly ball to deep center field, and Lofton goes back to the track, the wall, and that's gone! So the Mariners get two run, two home runs each in the first inning from Boone and from Mike Cameron. And we'll have to really head to the record book to see the last time that has happened in one inning. Two members of one team hitting two home runs in an inning, and the Mariners have ten. Wow. And so that's Cameron, all I can say. Cameron's <laughs> both the center field, Boone's both the right field. I don't I've think I've ever I've seen, never seen, seen teammates hit two home runs in the same inning. I've seen a player hit two home runs in an inning several times. Well, but not gonna, teammates. Uh, that that could very well be a record. Also, the two home runs in the first inning. Has he changed or expanded his strikes? Oh. And Cameron belts the ball to left field, and he has three. He becomes only the 11th Mariner in history to hit three home runs in a game, and he has a long, long time to tie. A major league record of four home runs in a game. Mike Cameron with three home runs. And the Mariners with an 11 to nothing lead. Alex Rodriguez was the last Mariner to have three home runs in a game two years ago. Wow. What a start for Cameron. And there's no doubt about this one. As it was even a high towering drive. But boy, that went way back up into the seats. That man from LaGrange is a happy young man tonight. He comes back to Chicago. Couldn't be any sweeter for him. Cameron took a 1-2 pitch to dead center field. His first time up in the first inning. A 2-2 pitch over the wall in dead center field. His second time up in the first inning. And an 0-1 hanging breaking ball way out of here to left field in the third inning. And that pitch is hit to deep center field. Back goes Lofton to the track, to the wall. Cameron has done it. My, oh, my. Mike Cameron becomes only the fifth man in Major League history to hit four home runs in four consecutive at-bats. And a standing ovation here in Chicago for Mike Cameron a career night. And he's got a lot of time to stand all alone as a man with five home runs in a game. What a night for Mike Cameron. This surpasses his afternoon at Yankee Stadium last year. You talk about a night to remember. Mike Cameron is having one. I guarantee he'll remember the rest of his life. Four consecutive home runs. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. But this is a night they'll talk about for a long, long time all over baseball. The night that Mike Cameron crushed four home runs in four consecutive at bats. The Mariners lead it 13 to 1. Congratulations, Mike Cameron.